Hello plant lovers, this is the ZZ plant also known as Zamiococcus zamifolia. It is also an air purifying plant, it absorbs harmful chemicals such as oxaline and benzene from the air. It has glossy and dark green leaves. It also has thick, upright stems, which stores water. It also has unique rhizome system for water storage, so that it can survive long periods without water. It thrives well when it gets neglected. Now let's talk about its propagation and other requirements like water, light, and soil. Since this stem is broken, we'll cut this stem. And start with leaf propagation. Give a cut just below the broken part. Now, using sterilized scissors, make a clean cut at the base of the leaf, as close to the stem as possible. This helps prevent the spread of diseases. Allow the cut end to callus over for a few days to prevent rot. Choose a healthy, mature leaf from your ZZ plant. Don't take any yellow or diseased leaf. Let's talk about its soil requirement. ZZ plant needs light, porous, and well-drained soil. For that you can take one-third soil, one-third compost, and remaining is sand. Perlite is optional. Now, insert the calloused end of the leaves into the soil, burying it about an inch deep. Our next point is watering, you can water the plant twice in a month only if the soil is completely dry. Mature ZZ plant retains water in rhizomes and fleshy roots. Even if you neglect it, it will thrive nicely. Overwatering can kill the plant. Hence keep the soil slightly moist but not soggy. ZZ plant requires a warm, bright, indirect light location. It can also thrives well in medium to low light conditions. It cannot tolerate direct sunlight, which can burn its leaves. So keep the pot in such location where it can fulfill its requirement. Let's see the result after 40 days. Do not take out the leaf forcefully. Gently remove the leaves. Can you see the roots? There is a new growth. In this leaf, you can see the tiny rhizome and the roots. Here in this leaf, there is no any growth and leaf is also turning yellow. This leaf also has no growth. That's why you should always take more leaves for propagation, because not all cuttings or leaves will necessarily develop roots. Out of five leaves only two leaves rooted and others became yellow. Let's talk about water propagation. I put this healthy leaf cutting into the distilled water. You can see the rhizome and some roots have emerged from it. This process took several months to produce rhizome and roots. Change the water every week to prevent bacterial growth. Now let's plant this leaf in the soil. Don't just insert the leaf into the soil as this can damage the roots. So make a hole and insert the leaf. Let's see the result after 40 days. The leaf has became yellow. 
This may be because, the initially the leaf was in the water, where there were no microbes and also no fungus, but after putting it into the soil, it got decomposed due to microbes and the fungus in the soil. This technique also failed. Both leaf propagation and water propagation needs patience as it can take long time to grow fully. The easiest way to propagate a ZZ plant is by division. This method is ideal if you have a mature ZZ plant with multiple stems and rhizomes. Let's see why division method is considered the easiest. Take a mature plant and see if you can find the rhizome easily. This process is simpler because you're separating an existing plant rather than nurturing a new one from a cutting. Here you can see the rhizome. Remove it carefully. The main function of rhizomes in ZZ plants is to store water. These underground potato-like structures act as reservoirs, allowing the plant to survive dry periods. Rhizomes can produce new shoots, which can grow into new plants. These horizontal growth of rhizomes helps to anchor plants in the soil and prevent them from being uprooted by wind or erosion. Because of these rhizomes, ZZ plant requires less water. If you add more water, the leaves start becoming yellow. And this way you can have one more ZZ plant. I don't give any kind of a fertilizer to my plant. ZZ plant grows very slowly. I have not seen any pest attack on this plant. In dry conditions, you can mist the leaves. And to maintain its shine, you can wipe the leaves with wet cloth. This way you can have a healthy ZZ plant. I hope the information I shared with you is helpful. For more such videos, like, share and subscribe to the channel.